Hi everybody, you're back with, uh, with Chris and Barry. Uh, today we're gonna take you through a little bit of a tour of um, the renovations that have happened in Soroki Hall and the current pavilion. While they're not finished yet, we thought it might be nice to give you an idea of what's been done and what's still coming. Um, and then we'll take a trip down to the ladies' bathroom, which is mostly finished now. There's still some furniture coming there just to show you what's uh, been happening there. So Chris, as usual, you're up. Tell us a little bit about what's happening here in, in uh, Soroki Hall and Cohen Pavilion and what's still coming. Hello all. All right. Today we're going to start you off in the Soroki Hall. Uh, we're going to show you the newly renovated carpet, dance floor, and painting. So as we enter the uh, Soroki Hall, as you can see, Barry, do you visual the new carpet? Sure. The pretty pattern that we have. Also, as we enter Soroki Hall, you can see the new walls have been, they are a kind of an off-white color. Uh, it brightens up the room and actually make the room look real nice and fresh, crispy look. Uh, as we walk over towards the dance floor, you'll see the new wood dance floor as well. The event you see, we have the uh, Jewish Federation coming in today for an event. It is set up for about 220 people. Also, lighting will be also upgraded starting Monday of next week. We'll have new LED, uh, same can lights, but there'll be a new brighter look, uh, probably about 2,700 Kelvin degree lighting uh, to actually make the walls pop a little more and make the room look fresh. What's nice about the lighting too is it's fully dimmable with a new system, plus uh, the chandeliers will also be upgraded to uh, more modern, more contemporary chandeliers. Yes. All right, we're gonna now walk toward uh, the corn, pa corn pavilion. So you can see the new carpeting in there as well. And also it's getting lighting starting Monday, uh, this coming Monday as well. So let's go. Thanks Chris, I'll follow you. And the pavilion has the same paint pattern as Soroki Hall. Uh, it has the off-white uh, crisp look. Also, if you'll walk to the right here, Barry, sure. we'll show you the entrance, so that's the, where our keypad, key fob entrance, the main entrance to the building, where also we have the same wood padded floor as the dance floor. This gives it its own area, like a foyer uh, entrance uh, where the security desk sit as you enter the Cohen Pavilion. Also, as we walk towards the lobby, you'll see the carpet pattern as well. Goes all the way into our, where we keep all the uh, Sidor and Hu machines at that entrance as well, till you get to the heart floor of the lobby. Great, thanks Chris. Uh, before we move over to uh, the ladies' bathroom, there's new furniture that's coming here. That's also been ordered, so lighting will start here and then new furniture coming. And there's also a new feature wall near the front where that wood floor that we just showed you is. Um, that um, is uh, upgraded lettering and uh, signage to show the current pavilion. So uh, let's go over to the ladies. Just before we go over to the ladies, this is the area that uh, Chris was telling you about, where the bookcase is, also new carpeting um, that comes over into this area. All right, we're about to enter the new ladies' lounge. Um, and again, a special shout out and thank you to the sisterhood uh, who have sponsored the upgrade of the ladies lounge completely um, there's new lighting in there and uh, chris will take you through a little bit of a tour of what's been, been done there it's not completely finished yet i just wanted to note that there will be new furniture that's coming to this area as well so chris i'll follow you in all right all right everybody we have now the women's updated wet lounge as you see we have the new flooring Flooring tile. You also have a new countertop, bottle countertop. Here, mirrors. We took away the large mirror and end up adding individual mirrors. New LED lighting as well. Also, I'd like to shout out to Miss Brooke Rosenthal who spotted the skylight, and she wanted to add a skylight into this room, which you can dim the lights and it give us a nice, pleasant look in this area. All right. Well pan around and so everyone can see like it. Barry said we will be changing out the furniture in here. Thank you, Chris. 
Where are we with the usher? The restroom. Yeah, we just knock first. Housekeeping. Alright. Thank you, Chris. Also, you have new sinks, fixtures, mirrors, countertops. New stalls, also new toilet fixtures as well. All new LED lighting, new ceiling tiles. We also even, I like to point this out, an emergency light we didn't have at first. <laughs> Just in case in the high holidays when we lose lighting or anything, we have emergency light. And like Barry said before, we want to thank Sisterhood for coming in and helping us out with this uh, beautiful women's lounge. And this has all been great, uh, especially when we have guests in the building, just like we just had Christ covered it in. And they just enjoyed our building this past week ago so i just want to say thank you everybody and shabbat shalom and uh, i want to thank you chris um what people don't understand is that all the coordination for all this building and all the plumbing and all the roofing falls on chris's shoulders in addition to all the other duties that he has in this building and so um all the coordination of getting this all done all done on time make sure that it gets done in between events and there's very little disruption um, is actually falls on Chris's shoulders. So I want to give you acknowledgement for that, Chris. Thank you. Thank um, and thank you for all that you do for our congregation. But um, this has been a huge, huge task, and I think we both are excited for it to be almost done. So stay tuned uh, for the next video uh, coming up in a couple of weeks. Thanks so much.